And so what I want you to do is take a look in your life in four areas, physical, emotional, spiritual, and then relationally, um, and ask yourself the questions. What can I control in my life physically, and what can't I control? And if you go through these four different areas, you will start to see very quickly that many of the frustrations that you perhaps are experiencing in life are due to your attempts to control things that you really don't control. For example, you don't control the traffic, you don't control the weather, and yet people, when they get in their cars, can turn into maniacs sometimes. And and so many different things in life. So learning to be aware, mindful, letting things be, that doesn't mean you're not proactive, choosing how to go forward and make plans and stuff like that. But this will help you see that most of the things that we get frustrated with as individuals are due to the fact that we're trying to control something that you can't control. And as it relates to the desires of the limbic system, that's what we're surrendering to because we don't control that part of the brain by willpower alone. It's always going to get triggered from time to time because that's what it does. So when you understand that, learn to let it be, then it, it, these key strategies tend to make more, more sense and you can move on to strategy number four, which is mindfulness, and then and key strategy number five, which is faith, and they will make so much more sense to you when you have this basic foundational understanding of the first three strategies. And this assignment, the things I can and can't control, is something to revisit as frequently as you feel necessary. So if you're feeling frustrated, you feel like you're getting out of control sometimes and you're not sure why, sit down and do this assignment. And most likely you'll see that the things that you're frustrated with are directly related to your attempts to control things that you really can't control. For example, you can't control how someone responds to you. You can control how you respond to them, and you can have the best intentions possible in reaching out to someone, but they're going to respond how they're going to respond. And that's not in your control. That's just, that's just one example of many. <laughs>